Hello guys, uh, welcome back to um, another uh, video uh, tutorials. Uh, in the last couple of tutorials, I did a video on um, how to uh, create a virtual machine on Freenas and install um, Ubuntu. Apparently, it's a couple user try to follow that guy and install um, Windows um, Seven or Windows Ten on it, and uh, they run into uh, some issue. So uh, I decided to make this uh, video. Uh, today uh, for creating a virtual machine on FreeNAS and install uh, Windows 10 uh, so let's get started uh, so first um, make sure that virtuali mm, uh, virtualization or Hyper-V is um, supported by your CPUs um, first of all uh, you need to uh, enable your um, virtualization on your BIOS settings, uh, the next thing that uh, we need to check to see is uh, your CPU supported the uh, extended uh, page table and uh, unrestricted uh, get access. So how you do that? So after you enable the virtualization in your BIOS setting or UEFI settings, you're gonna head it to the shell on the FreeNet and. Uh, I will include the uh, this link uh, in the descriptions. Thanks to the user uh, Monkey yeah, on um, FreeNet forum. <coughs> I copy this command right here and paste it. Interesting. The well, light didn't let me paste it, so I just gonna go ahead and tip it in there. All right. <clears throat> Vt. X. All right, and it returns some value right here. So the only two you need to look for are the EPT or uh, extended uh, page tables and the UG uh, unrestricted uh, get access if you try to create the um, <coughs> virtual machine and you power it on and you get the error saying that um, uh, let me see what it is it said that uh, VM restricted the uh, get guess Capability required. It means that your CPU, uh, your CPU is not supporting um, unrestricted uh, get access, <clears throat> and you will not be able to um, create a virtual machine on FreeNAS, um, at least not with the, uh, the current CPUs. Uh, if your modern board cable is upgrading to the newer versions, um, most likely you will be able to do so. And uh, that's how you check for. Um, uh, the requirement is see if your system able to run uh, a virtual machine. The next step is we're gonna go ahead to virtual machine and create a new virtual machine. We're gonna add a new virtual machine and a virtual machine and next operating system obviously obviously gonna be Windows and we're gonna name it uh, Windows 10 VM and we're gonna keep uh, everything as a uh, default setting. CBU, uh, I'm just gonna bump it up to four, so make it run a little bit faster, just for the purpose of the tutorial. Uh, the virtual CPUs and memory size. This is totally depend on what your system capable. Of. If you have a lot of memory and CPUs, then. Uh, you can increase the virtual CPUs on the memory side, and it's also depend on what are you going to use the virtual machine for. So that those are the factors that decided um, what the size, uh, uh, what the number of the CPUs and the memory side. And next, but um, always you can uh, go back in there and change the settings. I'll show you how to do that. Uh, after we uh, finish install the window on it, we're gonna create a new uh, this image. 
I can leave us add the default setting at the 40 gigabyte, but um, like I say, it depends what you use, what you're gonna use uh, the VM for. Then you can increase or decrease the um, hard drive volume. And I'm gonna put it in my VM folder. <clears throat> I remember in the last uh, tutorial, I uh, wanna show you how to create a virtual machine and uh, install Ubuntu on it. Um, remember I select the virtual I.O. Uh, for window we're gonna use uh, AHCI the reason being that virtual I.O. Uh, window can, window picky about a driver if you put it uh, virtual I.O. it will not see the hard drive and you're not gonna able to install uh, uh, the window operating system on the uh, the virtual hard drive so we only as as uh, AHCI and next um, same thing. The last tutorial, I was using a virtual I/O for my Ethernet device, but uh, for Windows, we're gonna keep as a default setting the Intel E um, A2545 uh, because uh, Windows have a built-in driver for it. If you put a virtual I/O here, you will not have um, network access. And most likely, you don't have to change anything else because I have a uh, multiple um, Ethernet. Most likely, you don't have to change it. It's just me. I have to do it. All right, next, and installation media. I already have the Windows 10 uh, ISO file, so you just have to point it to wherever your uh, ISO file is. <coughs> and when you hit next, and this is a summary, and everything good to go, hit submit. All right, now we got a Windows 10 uh, virtual machine re8. Next thing, it um, power it on and uh, install the operating system on it. So we're gonna go ahead and start a VM, <coughs> and we're gonna connect it using a VNC. Select your language keyboard, or whatnot. It's just a basic uh, installation of Windows. You should be familiar with it. All right. If you have a router key, you can tap it in. If not, uh, you can uh, skip it. And you can always activate it uh, later on in Windows. Select a Windows 10 uh, Professional. And you can access some uh, license terms. And obviously, it's going to be custom window and terms. And we're going to format that uh, half try. I'll just hit next and window automatically format it. And there you go, the installation is starting. Alright, we're gonna open the VNC again. Let's get uh, disconnected uh, again. It probably because the window uh, restart during the installation. I'm just gonna go ahead and connect to VNC again. All right, just a uh, basic window setup again.
call it uh, window Keep the password. All right, and uh, that's it. That's how you um, install the Windows 10 on uh, FreeNAS Virtual Machine. Uh, next step, I'm gonna show you how to um, edit the uh, setting. Let's shut down the uh, Virtual Machine. There you go. Now it's down. So you're hitting the three uh, vertical uh, dot right here, so all options, and you go to devices. So this is where you're able to uh, edit your devices, um, your hard drive, and uh, um, your CD-ROM or your um, Ethernet adapter. <coughs> Right here, because we already finished with the installation, we're just gonna remove the um, CD ROM. So every time you boot up, it's not gonna pop up that um, boot ROM uh, CD menu. And let's go back to our, our virtual machine. Actually, uh, let me show you one more. If you go to uh, AD, <coughs> right here, it have uh, you can change the uh, virtual CPUs decided how many you want and uh, memory size as well as at the um, star on boot uh, if you run uh, something on this virtual machine that you need it to start as soon as free nest boot up <coughs> or after the free nest restart then you're gonna check uh, star on boot <coughs> if not then uh, you can check it up and that's it and uh, that's it for today's tutorial guys, um, if you have any question, you run into any issue, uh, list it in the comment below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, like always, um, don't forget to subscribe and like and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.